And I've been telling y'all for the last few weeks not to be worried in Philadelphia. They aren't clicking on all cylinders. Who knows if something's clicking in Jalen Hurts' knee, for crying out loud, is he had to put a brace on in the middle of the game last night and said there's nothing to it. Will there be something to it? He says, I hope not, which doesn't really instill much confidence um, in the uh, in the Philadelphia Eagles world. But here's what should instill confidence in the Philadelphia Eagles world is that even with a track meet that comes into town, this is a fresh reminder as well, a track meet comes into town. And the way that the Philadelphia Eagles have been playing football, um, one would think on defense, they would have a problem with the Miami Dolphins bringing their track meet into town. Um, Press coverage on Tyreek Hill, as we saw at one point last night, is Tua hit Tyreek in the same way that Tua hit Devontae Smith in the championship game that birthed his path to being a first-round draft choice above Justin Herbert. And Jalen Hurts' path to Oklahoma two of the Philadelphia Eagles, two last night's game as the defending NFC champion quarterback. Um, Despite the track meet coming to town, in this day and age, it's amazing. If you control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, you've got a great chance to win a football game. And that's what the Eagles do. From Jalen Carter shoving Isaiah Wynn over and then out of the game threw him out of the Philadelphia club last night, which affected so much for this Dolphins team that, yes, has the top rushing offense coming into this game. Not the Eagles. It's the Dolphins. And Raheem Mostert got bottled up. Hassan Reddick was just jumping all over him last night. And then, you know, on the offensive line, when you've got Jason Kelsey and... You've got that kid Dickerson to his left. And you've got a 240-pound quarterback. Basically, you've got three downs to keep the Eagles from getting eight yards. That's about it. Because on fourth and one and a half, fourth and two even, they might do it. The brotherly shove. And it's an it's a will-imposing play. It is who can go lower, who can go Harder, it's really the way the Philadelphia Eagles love to hit you in the mouth. And then the difference maker, in my estimation, and we've seen it over and over and over again. Yeah, it's not the the brotherly shove, and it's not the imposition of will on both sides of the line of scrimmage that's a large part of it. But the Philadelphia Eagles, once upon a time, found a general manager and a front office that for whatever reason did not want to pay A.J. Brown 20-some-odd million dollars a year to play wide receiver for them. And I'm just wondering if John Robinson, the general manager of the Titans at the time, is sitting around wherever he is right now thinking, should have paid him that money. Or if it was ownership, I should have just told ownership, we're paying him this money. Yeah, can't let that Because it certainly him. isn't a coach, Mike Vrabel, who came on this program when rumors were leading into the draft that A.J. Brown was on the trading block or A.J. Brown wanted out to be traded and they were going to trade him. And he basically said, not while I'm coach of the Tennessee Titans. And he still is the coach of the Tennessee Titans. As we see A.J. Brown last night in the kick-ass Kelly Green throwbacks look like Harold Carmichael and everybody else who used to wear these Unis at the position all rolled into one because Hertz can go up top. Yeah, Devontae Smith is a terrific wide receiver in his own right, but this guy is a difference maker. And the head coach, who is the architect of the brotherly shove and is the personification of the brotherly shove, as he's MFing anybody who can be an earshot of him from his sideline. You know, Nick Sirianni, the walking id of Philadelphia (laughs) sports, essentially. (laughs) He knows exactly what he has in A.J. Brown as well. This is what he had to say after dispatching with the Dolphins. Last night, holding the Dolphins to 17 points season low. Season low. This is what uh, head coach Nick Sirianni had to say. He's on a tear right now. Um, 
And the other guys are playing good, too. They're, why is he on a tear? Well, because Devontae Smith's on one side. And, and Dallas Goddard is, on, is in the middle. And, and DeAndre Swift's in the backfield. And now Julio Jones over there. So appreciative of Howie. And, man, I, I thought there was something I – I would. I thought I would never say this, but but I think this week at practice, AJ was having an unbelievable practice, and I went up to Mr. Lori and I go, I, I'm like, there's no way I ever thought this would have came out of my mouth. Thanks for the hundred million dollars to pay AJ Brown. I really appreciate that. Like a guy from Jamestown, New York, and I, I never thought I'd ever say, hey, thanks for the a hundred million dollars to pay AJ Brown. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks for the hundred million dollars to pay AJ Brown. Another performance over 125 yards. And the touchdown to put him out of out of reach. And he tried to reach for one prior to scoring a touchdown. He could have had two last night. So we're all talking Tyree Kill and Waddle, and we're all talking about all these other wide receivers that were in the lot last night, but that's the one. Holy crap. So we'll hit you in the mouth. They'll run DeAndre Swift at you or Gainwell or Boston Scott when they play the Giants. And then you got also what they're doing on defense. That's a heck of a football team and circle their next game against, you know, Washington. And then they're going to also, after that, have Dallas before their bye in Kansas City after that. And then Buffalo after that. And then San Francisco after that. And then at Dallas and at Seattle after that, before they play the Giants twice around Arizona, which may have Kyler Murray there. Heck of a fun run coming up for this Philadelphia Eagles team. And they're 6-1 and one going into that stretch. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.